I have heard plenty of bad things about this episode and think it's finally time to take it out. I totally agree with the detractors and do not mean to be like Mr. Enter, but I have very similar views to him on TV. First of all, my biggest pet peeves when it comes to comedy are potty humor and unnecessary cruelty. If you have seen this episode or views on it, you can tell that it's the latter. This episode is going to be my first of many reviews on animation that fails. For me, criticizing uh, animation is fun. However, one thing you learn quickly is that the big names don't care at all what you think. So, now it's time to get into details, starting with a license on the back of the car. It's, it's writers. Let's see, Luke Brookshire, Mark uh, Cesarelli, and Derek Iverson. Okay, it seems like Luke is a mixed bag on episodes. He did cla crabs all mode, which I love. But he did, ah, Spongebob, you're fired. Now let's tackle Mark. He did Ghoul Fools, but he also did, ah, Spongebob, you're fired. Now let's, it says so on Spongebopedia that Derek has been here since day one, so he must be good. Uh-oh, I spoke too soon. You did Ghoul Lagoon. So, we start off our story at the Krusty Krab, where Squidward is slacking off on the job. Or is he? No, that's just work for him. A fish is there, though, but Squid ignores him, but Squid buckles down it as he sinks into his relaxing pillow. Then, a fish is hovering over him, without a door sound effect. Okay, we'll assume you got a budget cut and you could not do a very simple sound. Oh well. That's just nitpicking. Now let's get to the real story. So Squid finds our idiot hero in a bit arrow laughing. Squid then gets the attention, gets his attention, and we cut to customers eating on furniture. Ha ha! That's pure gold, co comedy gold. Well, it's not. In fact, I know a small plankton who has bad food but no customers that you can go to if you're hungry. I am a nitpicker. So what? So, we begin with one of Spongebob's Krabby Cook and montages with a twist. Squidward is curious, and Spongebob is protective of what's in the barrel. They feed the customers. Squid then steals the diary and lockpicks the lock. Squid then, dun dun dun, reads the diary. We cut to some filler of the events in the diary. From Spongebob's perspective, Oh, I think if this was someone else's diary, I think it would be okay. But no, it's in perspective of the sponge. It's time to skip that nitpick on with the review. So we cut back to the real stuff where Patrick eats poop. You, you know, that may explain why he is so dumb. Spongebob is sent on another pointless task by Squidward. You may have noticed I am a nitpicker. After all, I am not even on the big problem. I also am very silly and like to pick up on many, many errors, so don't expect me to be extremely serious in reviews. I critique to improve my own work, and for fun. So, Squid continues reading the diary when the townsfolk start joining in. Squid reads that when Spongebob sees Plaid, he acts like a chicken. They show him Plaid. He acts like a chicken. What a surprise. You know... This is in my in my script, but I'll tell you that I think it would be more interesting if they um if they either like alluded to it um a little previously um by something or you know just seriously they could have done so many things to make that better. It's a it's a stale joke. Never mind that. Spongebob runs outside for a smoking joke with bubbles. While well, this happens, Squid reads the sponge, has a, named his spatula Fifi, and more townsfolk arrive. Also, practice, pa I mean, Patrick is there. Then Squid reads that when hearing that bikini bottom anthem, Spongebob takes off all the clothing, except the undies. Spongebob then runs off crying. The folks of Bikini Bottom are annoyed, and they didn't know it was his. Okay, mini rant time. You what? You saw the reaction Spongebob had to all the things in the diary. Unless you are blind, then you are a culprit as well. 
You should have told Squidward to stop. You are culprits too. So Squid is happy after being chewed off by all. The diary reads, reading makes paper, then costs Squid a taxi ride. When Squid, when Squid gets home, his house is repossessed. Ha ha! Rule of funny. The police find him and stuff him in the stocks, where Patrick throws tomatoes at him, calling him a diary reader. Squid said that he read it too. Pointing out your problems does not fix them. Alright, it's finally time for the episode's killer. Get ready for a huge rant. Sponge comes over and is very clueless to the fact that Squid made him cry. In fact, he says that it was just his work diary. You what? I'm sorry, but is stalking Squidward a work thing? Is clucking like a chicken when seeing plaid a work thing? No, it's not. The writers were dumb enough to forget continuity from one episode they must not have proofread, like me. Uh, they have failed. Here's the thing. Spongebob has zero brains. If his work diary became a bestseller in one day, he is wrong. Look, I get it's a goofy cartoon, but if you manipulate life for a single joke that's not even funny, you have failed. If you make, if you think making two sides unlikable and expect your audience to pick a side, you have failed. The next thing Spongebob does is show Squid his personal diary. What an idiot! No, this idiocity is inexcusable. The idiot ball is lazy. If you think you could have a character that uses a high, the highest level of idiocity for comedy, you are wrong! Now, children, we have three rides that the, this story could go. Squid, number one! Squid does not do anything and endures the torment to learn a moral from the people who deserve to have a moral taught to them. Half Sponge protects Squid and have no moral learned and end the episode like that. Number three, they're all funny and jerk ball. You can tell they picked number three. So, let's get ready for the conclusion. The Sponge forgives Squid to have Squid read the secret diary and Sponge to cry. Squid is pelted and the episodes end on no learned moral. This, ep this episode proves with writing so bad, it turns likable characters unlikable. So yeah, I hate this episode. The next episode I think I'll take down is Goo Lagoon. I will also take suggestions. So, the Lord is out! And back for a brief uh, time. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah.